I, I love you. I, I really do. But I mean, not like I love my wife or you know. But it's great to be here with people uh, who are fellow poets and lovers of poetry, and you're very kind, and I'm, I'm grateful. I'd like to call up my partner in rhyme. Uh, <laughs> she and I uh, co-host a reading in Lakewood, the Licks and Kicks Poetry Extravaganza, as well as uh, one at Jim's Coffee House in Leary and at the Avon Lake Public Library. And you're all welcome to come up sometime. Uh, we'll give you uh, our card, or, and we'd love to have you. If you ever feel like venturing up north, uh, please welcome Diane Borsnick. Hello. Thank Hello. you, Mark, for Hello. having us here, and thank all of you for being here. Um, we're going to read a poem together. I wrote it in the voice of a man and a woman. So it takes a man and a woman to read it. And it's from uh, it's a relationship, a date, from two points of view. Me, me, you, you dawn, dawn, sheets and twisted, no, and your thin wrists, and by our delicate feet intoxicating night. my senses. I don't remember all of it. Far more. I guess this, this empty bottle accounts for that lapse. There is only you. What I do recall was great. <laughs> you I really had me going. Thank God you didn't about whine now. on about all us. All I care about is one more time with and you. And happily ever after. Us. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to read a poem that um, John's always really good with coming up with things when I need it, and he's got this this mind that just won't quit. And I was writing a poem one day. Pardon me. Don't believe it. <laughs> I was writing a poem one day, and I needed a haiku in the middle of it that started with specific letters. And I emailed him, and quick as a flash, came back. And this one's called Learning the Form. Longer I live, more I learn efficiency, economy, paring down of all speech into small packages, rounding out sentences into slim lines, not wasting what little I have. I wrote this haiku one night while waiting for sleep. Grab your dusty hat, throw it in the fire with mine. Have to let brains breathe. Easy to do if you have the proper form in your mind. Use only what you need, discard the rest, and make sure what's left makes some kind of sense. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get to do one more and then let her do some more, the rest. Uh, and then now if I can find it. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to read the other one from what I knew before I knew it. Uh, this is, has some more of those weird puns that may not translate well in a live reading, but... way erred scenes inside a jazz mind. A swirl in creative flux. Feel a faux need to squeeze, to get any er out on screen or page. Feeling sage in this smoke of jasmine incense. Hearing a catalyzing muse sick I can't name. And I can't blame you or blame me. Not sure why we need to lay it on anyone, as it is what it is and just is. And what's wrong with that? Why do we always have to find something wrong with everything? I can sing without notes or tune, and so I suspect can you. Whether or not some see it as cruel or kind, aren't we blind to believe every song needs sound waves, every lyric needs words, every world needs saved, every who needs heard, every herd needs a who? Ain't it just what it is, whatever it is? And I know Dylan saying, he not busy being born is busy dying. But he failed to say, he busy being born is busy dying too. 
And why can't we say that? Unafraid. It is what it is, and so what? The best jasmine incense burns out, and the worst lives in memory, just as long and wise any right or wrong. What's worst or best anyway? Sense won't last forever. I, I, I think nonsense won't either. But in some sense, might, like night, wonder if one day everything we think is wrong passes on, and everything right is left. Could anything be right again without us rewriting it? And when? You or I wonder why I do or don't talk. Maybe here's what you're missing. I'm always listening and never shut up. Sure, it's easy to think at least one of us is in this walled room, in this sided house, in this incorporated city, in this state of apparent confusion. But Dai Shonen said, Ichinen Sanzen, each moment possesses 3,000 realms. And I'm never outside a moment, even when I'm conscious, and your movement pervades the realms I monitor, even when you don't feel. Odd, when you don't hear. Sometimes we use the wrong ears. Wrong might be the wrong word, because in certain uncertain worlds, sound waves are inefficient, often ineffectual, and even oddly misleading, despite their repeated best intent shuns to be otherwise. So I use them, or don't, you too, as inclination dictates or allows, but it's all now becoming evident to me that we're all ultimately a swirl in creative flux, insight, outside, out of sight, inside. Becoming okay either way, with or without our faux need to squeeze smoke key jazz mind. Wow,